Are testosterone pellets safe? No, no, and no. Um, testosterone and androgens can be an important part, and it's a an evolving kind of thing. Um, and you know, hopefully one day we we might be able to offer it. Um, but pellets are not safe, and they kind of came about because of women being denied access to safe, effective, guideline approved hormone therapy. So what's a woman to do? They wind up going to doctors who promise them the world and inject pellets. They're unsafe because they're not standardized. They're not FDA approved. Once they're in your body, they're very difficult to remove. And you can have super physiologic, very, very high levels of testosterone that can be quite dangerous. There's no safety data on it. And what I tell women is if we treat your menopausal symptoms with estrogen and progesterone, as per guidelines, many women find they don't need the testosterone. And another little tidbit people understand in your body, your body, your fat cells, there's enzymes throughout your body that take the estrogen and the progesterone and do convert it to low levels of androgens, DHEA, EA, and testosterone. So by doing the hormone therapy, you're probably addressing those needs. And for the small percentage of people who might need testosterone, there are actual guidelines on prescribing it, but it, none of them include pellets.